Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking to you about Cmotion's newest firmware update and the new motor functions. So if we jump right in and go into the main menu, scroll all the way down to motors, go to motor settings, click on the motor that you want to change axes or any of the settings for, and then if you scroll all the way down to the bottom you'll see manual calibration. So this is a new feature that Cmotion have implemented in this new firmware update. Uh, and it's a very welcome feature because it means that we can now manually calibrate stills lenses. So why would you want to do that? Well, stills lenses, as you know, don't have hard stops. So if you're using them in a cinema application, it's very difficult for focus pullers because normally we'd automatically calibrate our lenses, uh, which is very quick and easy. And they'll, the lens motor will go to each end stop, infinity and close focus, and it'll bounce off the hard stop and that's how the lens calibrates, the lens, uh, the focus motor calibrates. With a stills lens, because there's no hard stop, the lens is just going to keep spinning and spinning and spinning, and it won't stop until you physically grab the gear. So previously, that's what we've had to do. We've had to grab the actual focus gear, stop it at infinity, and stop it at close focus. It's not very practical because you can, you can hurt your hand, you can potentially damage your focus motor, and you can potentially damage the lens if you do it wrong. So manual calibration as a feature in the handset is very, very welcome. So if we jump in and I'll quickly show you how to do it, click on manual calibration, you'll notice that the knob now goes orange because there's no calibration as of yet. Uh, so it says here, UB1, user button one, is move clockwise. UB2 is user button two, uh, stop the motor, and UB3, user button three, means move counterclockwise. So it, here it's saying, move to the lowest value. In my mind, the lowest value is close focus. So let's move to close focus. So if we click UB1, move clockwise, the motor is now moving very slowly. It's creeping very slowly towards close focus. If I click UB1 again, it's gonna move slightly faster. And if I click it again, so there's three arrows now, the motor's moving very quickly uh, towards close focus. So once I've hit close focus, I click stop. So now the motor has stopped at close focus and I need to select it. So if I click set, it's now set my close focus. So in here it says move to the highest value, which is infinity. So if I now click move counterclockwise, click it once, the motor's moving very slowly, click it again, moves a bit faster, click it again, it moves a lot faster. And once I've got to infinity, I click stop. So now the motor stops at infinity and I click set. So now the motor has manually calibrated that stills lens. Uh, the, as you can, you can tell because this has gone white, which means it's calibration. So if I jump in and show you another very cool feature that Cmotion have implemented. So if we go back, and we'll go back again. So if you go into the motors menu, go to motor settings, and now you'll see, obviously here I've only got one motor selected, but imagine you had four motors. So say you had a focus, iris, and a zoom motor connected, and a fourth motor. So this new feature they've implemented is allowing you to control a fourth axis on the handset uh, called the auxiliary axis. So if we click on the, so I've only got, imagine this one motor I want to change to the auxiliary axis. I click on this motor and I scroll all the way to the top uh, axes and I scroll all the way down to aux. So this is the auxiliary function. So why would I want to use a fourth motor? You know, if I've got my focus, iris and zoom, I should be fine, right? Yes except if you want to use that motor to control a cine tape, for example. Uh, lots of us like to have cine tapes on top of the cameras, it makes our lives easier, uh, and often it's actually really handy to be able to pan that cine tape around the set independently from the camera. So if you've got a fourth motor, you can do this. Previously I've done it using the zoom motor because I tend to shoot on primes, but if I'm shooting on a zoom, obviously I wouldn't be able to do that. Now I can. So if we slick axis, click aux, so we've set our, so what we've done here is we've set the motor to be auxiliary, but now we need to set the handset to also control the auxiliary axis. So if I go out of here and I go to control menu, and then here you can choose which axis on the handset you want to control that auxiliary motor. So knob controls focus, uh, slider controls iris, and joystick controls zoom usually. Um, so it leaves us with the thumb wheel. So if I click on the thumb wheel, 
or any of the axes if I wanted to change a particular axis. Uh, and then I click control, I can then scroll all the way through and you'll see orcs. So now I've set orcs, if I come out here, I've set the orcs axis, uh, the thumb wheel to control the orcs axis. So now as I'm turning this thumb wheel, the motor is actually turning. So here this would allow me, whilst I'm putting focus, iris and zoom on a zoom lens, I'd also be able to pan a cine tape around using the thumb wheel. A very handy new welcome feature from CMotion that I'm sure we're all going to use very much. Uh, please let me know if you like the video and like and subscribe.